Hello, this is Alex Ribley, winemaker for Wine Shop at Home. Welcome to our wine release for the Wine Club of December 2022. The first one we have is our Lumière de Vie 2021 Sauvignon Blanc. This is a re-release of this wonderful Sauvignon Blanc, 100% Sauvignon Blanc for this bottle from Lodi. I think this wine should be enjoyed within two to three years. If you serve it cold, you should be able to enjoy a beautiful floral nose with a lot of acacia, mandarin, some orange blossom as well. We get a great amount of citrus, like lemon, grapefruit as well in this bottle. And a little bit of like vanilla custard. There is absolutely no oak that were introduced in this wine. In the mouth, I really enjoy the minerality of the wine. We have also some baked cupcake type of character. I really enjoy the medium intensity that this wine is bringing. And the finish has some fruity aromas like pear and apple that I think will pair very well with uh, roasted turkey or steamed mussels, some chicken alfredo, grilled fish, plenty of opportunity to pair this wonderful Sauvignon Blanc. So this dry Sauvignon Blanc is the first one for this December wine club. Next is a new wine, a new release. This is our Sunfish Mola Alexandrini. This is a blend a sweet blend of 38% Thompson, 30% Orange Muscat, 20% Chardonnay, and 12% French Colombard. We have this wine, it's a sweet wine like I mentioned, and it's really, really enjoyable in the nose. We have a lot of lemon, pear, apple, pineapple, vanilla custard, a lot going on in the nose. And in the mouth, we have some juicy fruits that are coming forward, like apricot, apple. I really enjoy the roundness of the wine. It, there is almost like a viscous aspect of it, a lot of viscosity in the, in, the, in the finish. It's also mineral, but obviously that sweetness is all over from the mouthfeel, the mid palate, all the way to the finish. So a great opportunity to taste uh, that sweet wine. Next, it's a re-release. It's our Milano 2019 Barbera Rosé from California. This is a wine that has shown its uh, great potential now. It's ready to drink. A lot of strawberries, some pomegranate, raspberry, watermelon, quite a bit of very fine and beautiful aromas in the nose. In the mouth, I really enjoy the minerality aspect of the Barbera. We have a long to medium finish. And also we find some watermelon, some citrus as well character in the mouth. This is something that will pair very well with like a quiche or couscous, a shrimp cocktail, plenty of opportunity for a beautiful uh, dry rosé like that. Next, we are going to take a quick pause and uh, talk about our new brand, Above. So I have a bottle of Above, and guess what? I have a second one. What do you see? You see that all the labels comes with different color. It's called mosaic printing, and you will not find one front label that is the same than the back label. However, if you turn your bottle around, you can see here one of them is Zinfandel, which is released in December, and the other one is a Cabernet that we release next month. So make sure you check the back label if you are looking for a wine. But again, you will find this uh, beautiful printing uh, color like that the, with the above Zinfandel 2021. So we've got a nice amount of alcohol at 14.7. This is always a great way of expressing what Zinfandel has to offer. A lot of uh, sherry character, some blackberry, plum. And there is a little bit of toasted oak as well, some pepper notes and some tobacco that are coming forward uh, in the second nose like that. 
really enjoy a very harmonious mouthfeel. It's very well balanced. I love the density of the Zinfandel. We got some soft tannins. And this one just got an award right on time before it's ready. So enjoy the Zinfandel and uh, that will help uh, to uh, showcase this wine at your next tasting and uh, with your friend and family like that. The next wine, it's a re-release. It's our Joy Cellar Bliss. It's a blend of Ruby Cab, Merlot, Syrah, as well as some Cap Franc and Zinfandel. Quite a bit of varietal that usually have quite a bit of tannins and some structure in them. So I think this wine will easily be uh, kept for three years without any problem. It will keep its, its intensity like that. This is an off dry red, so you need to expect balance between sweetness and tannins and structure that you will get in the mouth. So currently we have quite a bit of blackberry character, some blueberry, some plum in the nose, a little bit of dark chocolate, some truffle notes. So a wonderful, wonderful nose for this uh, off dry red. And like I mentioned earlier, we've got a mix of tannins, very harmonious, uh, blended with round structure and the sweetness that is coming forward toward the finish as well. Pork carnitas, uh, buffalo cauliflower, uh, steak, plenty of great opportunity for the holidays to enjoy this uh, joy bliss. And next and last but not least, it's a re-release of our Alcyon 2019 Alcido. This is a blend that is from my uh, hometown of Bordeaux. Wonderful blend of 75% Merlot and 25% Cabernet Sauvignon. A wonderful opportunity to taste uh, what's going on in the Bordeaux area for this 2019 vintage. A very ripe plum character in the nose blackberry, some cherry, pomegranate as well. Really enjoyed the, the licorice, the vanilla, the toasted oak that we get in the finish. And a lot of tannins are present in the mouth, but they are nice and soft, very elegant, and they will help with the continuity and the aging of the wine like that. It's got a long finish that will pair very well with uh, grilled beef skewers or chicken, Rolls like that, and even a, a plate of, uh, of cheese like that will be beautiful. So here it is. This is our lineup for December Wine Club. Enjoy your holidays. Enjoy great wines. This is Alex from Wine Shop at Home. Santé, and I will see you next time.